A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a heartbreaking incident that underscores the ongoing migrant crisis, a four-month-old baby tragically lost their life when an overloaded boat heading for Britain sank in the English Channel on Thursday night. The boat, which was carrying a group of asylum seekers, capsized off the coast of Wissant, France, leading to a rescue operation that saved 65 individuals but resulted in the unfortunate death of the infant. The maritime authority responsible for the French waters confirmed that the boat was in distress, with several passengers already in the water when rescuers arrived. The infant, believed to be from Iraqi Kurdistan, was found unconscious during the search and was later pronounced dead. This incident marks a grim milestone in the ongoing struggle for migrants attempting to cross the channel, bringing the total number of fatalities to at least 52 this year alone, the highest number recorded since 2018. The passengers on the ill-fated boat were primarily of Iranian, Iraqi, Albanian, and Eritrean nationality, reflecting the diverse backgrounds of those risking their lives in search of safety and a better future. The channel, notorious for its treacherous waters and heavy maritime traffic, has seen a surge in crossings by undocumented migrants since 2018. Despite repeated warnings about the dangers of the journey, many continue to embark on perilous voyages, often in overcrowded and inadequate vessels. The tragedy highlights the urgent need for safe and legal routes for asylum seekers, as advocates and humanitarian organizations call for immediate action to prevent further loss of life. Women for Refugee Women, a UK-based charity, lamented that these deaths are preventable and emphasized the necessity for safe passage options. Utopia 56, a French organization dedicated to assisting migrants, echoed this sentiment, urging the government to change its approach to migration and provide a more humane reception policy. The incident occurred during a period known as Grand Esmeries, characterized by extreme tidal movements, which further complicates the already dangerous crossings. Despite the risks, the number of migrants attempting to reach the UK has increased significantly, with over 26,000 arrivals reported since the beginning of the year. The situation has drawn attention to the broader political climate in Europe, where anti-immigration sentiments are gaining traction, influencing policies and debates among EU leaders. As the tragedy unfolds, French Prime Minister Michel Barnier is set to meet with Italian officials to discuss migration policies, including a controversial deal with Albania to house intercepted migrants in camps until their claims are processed. The rising death toll among migrants attempting to cross the channel has sparked outrage and calls for reform, as advocates emphasize the need for a more compassionate response to those fleeing conflict and persecution. The heartbreaking loss of the baby serves as a stark reminder of the human cost of the ongoing migration crisis and the urgent need for effective solutions to ensure the safety and dignity of all individuals seeking refuge. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.